Hey everyone, Ryan here, and today we're gonna to be discussing every LEGO Star Wars that's said to be retiring by the end of 2023. So what do you need to buy soon, and what can you wait into 2024 and potentially beyond to go and pick up? This video is sponsored by Rakuten, and I'll tell you how they can save you money on LEGO later in the video. But before we talk about all the sets that are gonna be retiring this year, you need to know how retiring LEGO sets work. Essentially, most of the sets that we talk about in this list are said to be retiring by December 31st, 2023. 23. It's important to not wait until December of 2023 to go out and buy the sets that you know are retiring at the end of the year. The best example I have from last year is that the UCS Imperial Star Destroyer retired December 31st, but it realistically sold out at the beginning of December. So come Christmas, if people wanted to buy the set, it would cost them over $1,000 on sites like eBay, even though just a month or two prior, they could have picked it up for $700. Basically what I'm saying is if you want to buy a set that's retiring this year, leave yourself enough of a cushion there at the end of the year so that you don't get caught up by that Christmas rush because stuff does go fast that time of year. Just like last year, I'm going to split this up into four different categories for sets that are overdue in their retirement but are finally retiring. We have sets that are retiring at just the right time. We have sets that are gone too soon. Hate to see them go. And we also have notable survivors, sets that won't be retiring, as well as just my general thoughts. Let's get into it. Our first overdue retirement and the only set that I said last year was retiring that ended up not retiring in 2022 is the 75317 Mando and the Child Brickheads. This one is again said to be retiring at the end of this year. Who's to say that'll happen because it did get pushed back once already, but this one's been on shelves or will have been on shelves come the end of 2023 for over three years, which is super long for a Lego Star Wars set, let alone a Brickheads. And there's something that have been commonly on sale for even under $15. So this one shouldn't be one you'll have trouble picking up. The next set that I think is overdue to retire, but is said to be retiring is a 75326 Boba's Throne Room, the review playing in the background there. It will have only been on shelves about a year and a half plus, but it's a set that flopped immediately. And honestly, I think Lego should have just cut the cord at the end of 2022. I get that they probably want to scale out their production and sell enough to where it makes economical sense to them, but it's one of the worst received Lego Star Wars sets of 2022. And yeah, I just feel like that one will be overdue come its retirement time at the end of next year. It just it's not a set a lot of people like. Plus, they're apparently making an actual Jabba's throne room palace thing for uh, adults, which I think people will like much better. The next overdue retirement is a bit more of a joke, but the 75332 4 Plus ATST, this one is horrid. It's super overpriced at $35, and it's no surprise that it will be out the door by the end of the year. This is one that I assume isn't selling well even to its target audience, so yeah, hopefully it'll be replaced with something better from the Young Jedi Adventure Show or whatever that's supposed to be coming out rumored for the summer. The final overdue departure is a set that shouldn't even exist according to LEGO Star Wars designers themselves, the 753 for three Dark Trooper helmet with a less than two year shelf time. And I usually think of Lego Star Wars sets, by the way, as two years is like the normal time. So less than two years is actually abnormal and it's not really overdue. But the only reason I put this in the overdue category is because Lego Star Wars set designer said that they wouldn't make helmet sets based on droids when asked if they would make a C-3PO helmet set. Of course, that's something many fans may want. However, with this Dark Trooper helmet, they just said, oh, it was cool, so we made it anyway. So technically this set shouldn't have existed based on their own rules, which they just broke because it was cool, which fair enough, they shouldn't really constrain themselves to silly things like that. But uh, yeah, the Dark Trooper helmet will be retiring and it's one that's not loved by many, so I don't think it'll be missed. We'll talk more about the sets that aren't retiring specifically later, but all of the other helmet sets are said to not be retiring this year, so you have more time for those. It's just the Dark Trooper helmet is getting the ax. The time is right to retire for quite a few sets here. The 75320 Snow Trooper Battle Pack. Come the end of the year, it will have served its purpose in a two-year lifespan that is very typical for LEGO Star Wars Battle Packs of years past, and so seeing this Snow Trooper Battle Pack get that two-year lifespan is absolutely no surprise to me and feels 
absolutely right. Released alongside that Snowtrooper Battle Pack and also retiring alongside it, it's said to be the 75322 Hoth ATST. Also getting a two year lifespan, having released just alongside the Battle Pack, it makes all the sense in the world to send it out with the set it came in. And then kind of a surprise retirement, one that I thought they might keep around longer, but looks like it'll be heading out with those other two Hoth sets, is the 75288 ATAT from the summer of 2020. It'll have had over a three year lifespan on shelves, and that is way more than average for LEGO Star Wars, but that is what we should come to expect from some of these original trilogy sets at this point. It makes a lot of sense for LEGO Star Wars to keep them on shelves for quite a while, especially something as iconic and good as that ATAT. -AT. Ultimately, at the end of the year, it looks like it will meet its maker alongside those other Hoth sets. So it looks like they're going to be phasing out those Hoth play sets. It'll always be sad to me that we never saw a Hoth Echo Base or a Rebel Snowspeeder play set to accompany those Empire play sets from LEGO Star Wars. The Buildable Child set is said to be retiring after over three years on shelves at the end of 2023. The time is definitely right for that one. To me, over three years, again, is very abnormal, and maybe you would say it's an overdue retirement, but honestly, given the Mandalorian's popularity and just how many people might want this set coming into the Mandalorian season three uh, this year, it makes a ton of sense to have kept this on shelves as long as they have. And it honestly is the one set on this list that it wouldn't surprise me if they extend its lifespan. The 75292 Razor Crest will join the Child that came out just before the Child, I think, back in 2020, and will be retiring around the same time at the end of this year. It was a great set and one definitely worth going out and picking up if you don't have it already, or if the UCS one is not something you want or obviously too expensive at $600. This $140 version or previously $130 is fantastic. The time also feels right for the UCS Republic Gunship, one of the most controversial LEGO Star Wars sets of all time will be retiring after just over two years on shelves. And yeah, it feels right. I'm happy to say goodbye to that one. I don't care too much to keep seeing it at the Lego store. And some of the best deals on that one, if you're looking out, have come from Zavi. I'll have my affiliate link in the description below for Zavi, but they have had like that thing as cheap as $285, I think at its best. So keep an eye there if you want a good deal on the Republic gunship. We've got two more sets that the time is right for. The 75329 Death Star Trench Run at less than two years of shelf life, but they're releasing so many of these 18 plus diorama sets. There's three Three more rumored to be coming out in 2023 here in a couple months that it just makes sense that you got to clear space for them so that Death Star Trench Run going to be getting out of there. We also are saying goodbye to the 75290 Moss Eisley Cantina, one of the best LEGO Star Wars sets of all time and something I definitely recommend going out and buying if you don't have one already. Unlike the Republic Gunship, I have not seen any great deals on this one so it looks like a $400 price tag with maybe double VIP points from LEGO or even better, some cash back from today's sponsor, Rakuten, could net you the best deal. Rakuten is the largest cashback site, partnering with over 3,500 retailers, including some stores you might buy Lego from, like Walmart, Target, and Lego.com themselves, to save you money both on everyday purchases and, pertinent to this video, retiring Lego Star Wars sets. All you have to do is use the link in the description below to sign up for Rakuten today. You'll get a $30 bonus cashback on your first qualifying purchase of $30 or more. That's literally 30 extra dollars for downloading it and using it. And to get cash back from specific stores like I did with Walmart, all you have to do is click through to their website and you'll be ready to shop through Rakuten. You can also download the browser extension, which is what I prefer because it just pops up whenever I go on a new website and says, do you want some money back if you buy something? And I'm like, yes, I do. And small story from the other day, I bought a mattress for my new house. Literally didn't even know it. I just checked it when I was you know, preparing for this ad. I got $100 back on that. I was like, bro, wasn't expecting that, but you know, if you're making some big purchases, it definitely seems like it's worth having around. Just click that link in the description below, get your $30 bonus if you haven't already, and start shopping for some retiring LEGO Star Wars sets or mattresses. We've got eight more LEGO Star Wars sets retiring for 2023 here, and they all make it into the gone too soon category, including two 2023 sets. They should be the only 2023 sets retiring at the end of the year, though. That is the 40615 Tusken Raider retiring after just a year. So if you want that $10 Brickheads, yeah, go out and buy it. It's 10 bucks anyway. It's not like it's something you're probably waiting for a sale on to save a dollar or two. So if you want that one, just get it at some point this year, maybe during double VIP points or when you shop with Rakuten like we were just talking about. We also have the 75344 Micro Fighter Slave 1 retiring after just a year again. So 
kind of following the footsteps of the Razorcrest microfighter from last year that retired after just one year. I don't know if that's just gonna be the new norm for microfighters that they're only one year, or again, there's always a possibility that at some point microfighters are just gonna be cut off and they will be gone. I talked about it in last year's video that just feels like they're waning them out. So this could be it, probably not, but always a possibility. Some retiring sets from 2022 include the 75330 Dagobah training set. I feel like this one's gone too soon. The Death Star trash compactor is staying on into 2024. I feel like this set is just as good, if not really better than that set. And so I'm surprised to see this one go and the trash compactor stay. Uh, we also have the 75324 Dark Trooper Attack retiring with less than two years on the shelves. Maybe it is the right time for that set to go, but a lot of the times less than two years will feel a little bit fast to me. So that Dark Trooper Attack set going that soon just kind of sucks. And then we have the 75342 Republic Fighter Tank out the door, less than two years on that one too. So if you were hoping to build your clone army with that one, I would look out for any type of sale. It is kind of a target exclusive in the US. So you gotta look for a target having a sale on that one, maybe down to 32 bucks. The only time I've seen it on sale in the last year, they had it on sale for $32, but it was out of stock the whole time. So who knows if you'll even be able to get that one under retail if you don't have it already. I don't love the actual fighter tank, but for the figures, it's pretty much a must buy for any Clone Wars fan. And then the final three sets that are gone too soon are sets that Lego could keep the build of, change out the minifigures and then release them again exactly as is. And that's what I think would be ideal, but I don't think that's what's gonna happen. But we have the 75312 Slave 1. They could totally just change out the figures, make that more of an original trilogy set, or obviously color swap into Django Slave 1 is probably what most fans watching this channel would want, but that one's out of here. And then after three years of service, we're saying goodbye to the downsized X-Wing and TIE Fighter. I am shocked these ones are retiring so soon. I thought Lego downscaled these sets and released them so that they could be on shelves for a long time. Three years doesn't feel like enough. I was thinking five years for these sets, honestly, because Lego, I thought, wanted to be able to allow kids and adults alike, I suppose, to be able to buy a TIE Fighter and X-Wing because those are just kind of the staple. Like if you could boil Star Wars down to like two ships, those are kind of the ones. I mean, you could blame Falcon, Death Star type of thing, but like of two ships to go against each other, that are always gonna sell as a TIE Fighter and X-Wing. And it's just really surprising to me to see those sets retiring after just three years. Now, as far as I know, anything I haven't mentioned to this point shouldn't be retiring at the end of 2023. Notably, all summer 2022 sets, except for that pesky four plus ATSD, will be making their way into the year 2024. So if you still haven't bought like an ATTE or a Justifier, you can wait to do that. Although the Justifier, is a surprising non-retirement. I cannot believe that that one is gonna get more than a year and a half of shelf time, given that it's one that so few people seem like they wanted to buy. I don't think it's a bad set. It's one that I actually recommend, even with its high price of 170 bucks, but I understand why people don't like it, and I'm just surprised that LEGO's keeping it around longer than a year and a half. I believe we have four UCS sets that are currently available that will still be available in the 2024, starting small with UCS R2-D2 and the UCS Luke's Landspeeder. We should also continue to see the UCS AT-AT, and then still holding strong in its like seventh year, the UCS Millennium Falcon. And this is something that the designer said should always be available essentially that like I think they said that at some point so don't be surprised if that one's still around three years from now and I'm still talking about how it's still crazy that it's available but it is going to continue it's very long shelf life and so all four of those UCS sets plus any UCS sets of course that come out this year should continue to be available for a while longer. I'm really surprised the Vader versus Kenobi dual set isn't retiring given it was a massive flop. People made fun of its design and by all accounts is not selling all too great. And then the final surprising non-retirement is the 2019 The Rise of Skywalker Millennium Falcon. I just don't really know why they haven't recolored that Falcon to just be a normal Millennium Falcon and given it original trilogy minifigures. It's a really easy design thing to do. You just change out some figures, some colors, and you're good to go. Generally the same model. So yeah, that one will be kicking around into 2024, like five years of shelf life. I'm really surprised by that, but I guess it's just something they want to sell or maybe they massively overproduced it, but they usually don't produce stuff that far out, I think. But hopefully this video has given you the insight to be smart with your Lego buying money this year, buy sets before the Christmas rush, and use our sponsor Rakuten to save extra money on your purchases. Hope you enjoyed and let me know which set you are most sad to see get retired at the end of 2023 in the comments section below. See ya.